John 3, verse 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Wow! Our God loves everyone in the whole world so much that he made his Son, Jesus, like a ginormous flashlight, so that anyone who stays close to him can always be protected from the dark. Oh, now that makes me feel safe.
Isaiah 40, 11. Like a good shepherd, he takes care of his people. He gathers them like lambs in his arms. Ah. God cares for us so much he doesn't want to be far away from us. Instead, he snuggles us close like fluffy little sheep. Isaiah 45, 12. I am the one who made the earth and created people to live on it. With my hands, I stretched out the heavens. Just like I used my hands to make really cool castles with building blocks, God used his hands to make the earth and sky and even us. In John 10, 28, Jesus says, I give my sheep eternal life. They will never die, and no one can take them out of my hand. Not even the strongest muscle man or a huge giant could steal us from God's hand. God is still stronger. Psalm 31, 15. My future is in your hands. That means that God doesn't only take care of us today, but he also takes care of us tomorrow. And the next day, and the next, and the next, and forever, into infinity. Psalm 119, verse 73. With your hands you made me and helped me become who I am. That's right, God made the fastest cheetahs, the biggest mountains, and the brightest stars. God is really good at making things. His hands made all the cool stuff in the world and used those same hands to make us just the way we are. Psalm 139, verse 7. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. That means if I go way into outer space like an astronaut, or deep into the bottom of the ocean like a deep sea diver, I'm never out of God's reach. He's always there protecting me. Sorry about that. Um, you weren't hearing me before. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I know it's a little bit rainy, but we're going to start our Sunday school. I just want to know if you all are hearing me because there's thunder and lightning in the background. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So we'll start our Sunday school with a word of prayer. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, I thank you for bringing us here this afternoon, for bringing all these children here despite the inclement weather. We thank you for the rain, Lord, and we thank you for the thunder and the lightning because you created it all. We thank you for this world that you created, for all the animals, all the trees, the air, the sky, the sea moon and stars and the sun lord we thank you for everything and most of all lord we thank you for giving us your son jesus christ who died for us on this cross so father lord today we thank you for the life that we have that we are able to come here and listen to your word father god inspire these children through your word today lord i pray that they'll learn about you and your creation and how you created it lord father god I pray that this session would be a really good session that all the kids present here would learn and that they would benefit from what is being said here, that they'll take it through their entire life and they would remember it, Lord. Father God, I pray for a good session and I pray for all these children, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, we're going to start with some songs. And we're just going to sing about two or three songs. But hold on. We, we have some technical difficulties. There's no current in Barakor. So hold on, let me answer Miss Kadeen.
sorry about that kids um there's no current in barapur the electricity just cut so we don't know if miss kadeen will come on but she promised that she'll try to come on so we have to be a little bit patient with those who don't have any electricity right now but we'll continue our class because i have electricity so as we wait for miss kadeen we will sing some songs and we'll continue with our sunday school the first song that we're going to sing is make a melody because you know we kind of cool and we are kind of falling asleep so let's sing make a melody and i want to see you all do the actions if you're not standing up you could sit and do the actions but we're going to sing it a little bit different we're going to to combine some of the, the actions so it is not as long right so you could listen to me and we could sing right i want to see everybody dancing right so let's start two three make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart to the king of kings thumbs out elbows out make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart to the king of kings thumbs out elbows out knees bent make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart make a melody in my heart to the king of kings thumbs out elbows out knees bent legs apart tongue out ah 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 all right so that was just a warm-up for today so our next song for our next song i have some guests with us i have i have i have some some critter friends some friends from under the ocean are you all ready to meet them so I have Peppy the penguin. Hi kids. I'm Peppy the penguin. Hi Peppy. I want to sing a song for you. But Peppy you have some friends. So let me introduce Peppy's friends. Does anybody know where penguins live? Which continent or which country penguins live? Does anybody I know? Ice. Ice. It's so. Well, uh, here are answers here. In cold. In the cold, yeah. Peppy, do you live in the cold? Antarctica. Antarctica? You live in Antarctica? Peppy says he's from Antarctica. Antarctica. I'm from Antarctica, but I'm living in a zoo. Okay, so Peppy's from a zoo. So he's visiting us from a zoo. But he is, his parents live in Antarctica and he's from Antarctica. So you kids are so smart, you're right. Okay, so we have our next friend, Sharky the Shark. But he's a little bit scared since he heard Trinidadians like Bacon Shark. So he's a little bit silent today. So hi Sharky. Okay, you could you you could stay. You could stay next to Peppy. It's all right. It's all right, Chucky. We won't we won't make bacon shop today. Right? And then we have Larry the turtle. Hi. I'm Larry the turtle. Hi Larry. You all notice that Larry is really slow. Do you all know that turtles are really slow? They're really slow. Yeah. So I want to hear the song that Peppy has to sing for us. Peppy, are you ready? Are you ready, Peppy? Yeah. I I I think I am. Okay, so let's hear the song. Peppy Gana already here. He's got 
the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the moon and the sky. In his hands, he's got the moon and the sky. In his hands, he's got the moon and the sky. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the trees and the animals. In his hands, he's got the trees and the animals. In his hands, he's got the trees and the animals. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you itty bitty kitties. In his hands, he's got you itty bitty kitties. In his hands, he's got you itty bitty kitties. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. That's a really nice song, Peppy. That's really, really nice. I wonder where you learned that from. Oh, you learned it from the zoo. He said he learned it from the zoo. Shaki said that too. So I have a song for you because Peppy had a question. Peppy wanted to know more. He told me before he wanted to know more about the creation story and all that God created. So let me play a song for you all that we're going to learn today. It's a new song. I don't know if you know it, but it's a song that you would have learned in school. So let's 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 listen to this song. The name of this song is called All Things Bright and Beautiful. Isn't that true? Yeah. Yeah, Peppy? Okay. So I will, I will, I will play the song for you all, right? Just one minute. Let me get this song ready. Here we go. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each
So that's a nice song, isn't it? I think that that's Peppy's favorite song. Larry, what do you think? I like it too. Oh, Larry said that he liked it too. Um, so today we're going to learn about the creation story. And I, Peppy had some questions. What are your pe questions to me, Peppy? Well, I was wondering, um, who created me? And, 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 and I want to know where I came from. Uh, how did God create me? And when did he create me? Well, that's a really good question, you know, Peppy, because, um, I have a friend called Mr. Lion. And he would be able to answer that question for you. His name is Levi the Lion. So I'll see if he is on. Is Levi on? Levi, can you tell Peppy and his friends how you create, how did God create them? How did God create all these creatures under the ocean? Let's, and, and even the birds of the sky. Um, Levi, can you, Levi the lion, can you, can you tell us? Levi, I think your mic is mute. Hello everyone, how, how are you? My name is Levi the lion. And today, I'm going to tell you a story of, about creation. Now, my friends, the penguin and the shark, they want to know how they were created. Well, I know a lot, and I can tell you where we came from. In the beginning, there was no earth or sky or sea or animals. And then God spoke in the darkness, let there be light. Right away, there was light scattering the darkness and showing the, the infinite space. And you know what God said? That's good. So did you all know that God made the earth? You all know that? Yes. And guess how long it took to make the earth? Seven days. And on the second day, he made the earth. The third day, he made the plants. But today, we're going to focus on the fourth and fifth day, because those days are very important. And my friends, the sea creatures, will be able to understand how they were made. So listen up. God made, on the fourth day, sorry, God made two large lights. He made a brighter light to rule the day. Who knows what the brighter light is called in the day? Anyone? Sun? Starts to let, yeah, it's the sun. And then he made the smaller light to rule the night. And what do you think that is? The moon. The moon. And God put these little tiny things to shine in the sky. We call them the stars. And he put them there and separated the light from the darkness. God saw all these things and said, it was good. And that was the fourth day. Now with the sun came light, heat, warmth, sunrise, sunset, dusk, dawn, and even eclipses. God knew that the earth would need the sun to survive. <clears throat> 
And sometimes when the moon is full and round, it is shaped like a crescent. When the moon appears, some people call it the toenail moon. Did you all know that? So God made the moon, the stars, the sun on the fourth day. Isn't that awesome? Now, the fifth day, which is the important day that my friends would like to hear about. Then God said, let the water be filled with living things and let the birds fly in the air above the earth. So God created the large sea animals. He created every living thing that moves in the sea, like Sharky and Mr. Turtle. Wow. Even Peppy. Even Peppy. Wow. Thank you, Lorraine. I didn't know. God also made every bird that flies. What's the type of bird that you all know about? My friends, name a type of bird? my friends are flamingo. Yeah, the flamingo, right. And I have Good. friends that are parrots as well. God bless them and said, have many young ones and grow in number. Fill the water of the seas and let the birds grow in number on the earth. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fifth day. So in the sea, there are fish, swimming, mammals such as whales, dolphins, sponges, jellyfish, clams, oysters, sea cucumbers, sea lilies, lobsters, worms, snails, and many, 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 many more. And on this day, God created all sorts of birds that fill the sky, parrots, doves, macaws. He created other birds as well, ostrich, chickens, just to name a few. And when God created the birds, he made it feathers, beaks, wings, and claws. Wow, that's so impressive, huh? He made all of that in one day. God is so amazing. Now, I hope my sea creature friends have a better understanding of who created them. It's God. God created all of us. And I know this because I read my Bible. And you can find the, these scriptures in the Bible as well. Do you read your Bible, kids? I hope you do. And I hope that my C friends would be able to understand where they came from. So... I that's it for now. Thank you guys. Thank you, Levi. Thank you, Levi. Uh oh, Daniel. You're welcome. Bye. Now I'm sure that you know where you came from. We sure do. Thank you. Make sure I read your Bible so you don't forget. Well, you yeah. Okay, so Peppy, is that okay? So Peppy is okay with that because Peppy learned. So right now, we want to go ahead and do our craft. So you all ready to do your craft? Yeah. Same thing I thought I was. I like the color. Okay, I'm gonna use it for the chicken. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? 
Can you guys hear me? Are you guys hearing me? Yes, we are in Okay, so So for today, because we have no current and unlike them, I am doing with me for today. Okay, so for our art and craft today, like what Leo Levi the Lion said, we are going to create the sun and the moon. Okay, so does everybody have their art and crafts and their cutouts ready? Let's see if I can see the screen here. Okay, so if you guys have not done it as yet, we're going to make the sun and the moon, all right? So let's make it together, okay? So first thing, we are going to color half of a circle or a plate yellow and the other half gray to represent nighttime, all right? And the yellow would represent the daytime, okay? But let's continue and put some stars. I'm going to stick some stars to represent my nighttime. And I think I will stick some little triangles to represent the sunshine, right? The rays of sunlight. Okay? So let me stick those. All right? And those of you who are doing the craft with me, let me see all of you all who are cutting it out. I see Eva and Zara. They are preparing their art and craft. Very good. So do you guys like the puppets today? Did you guys enjoy Peppy and or Turtle and or Lion? Excellent. All right, so I am going to put some glue on my stars. So you could use any color paper you want, no art and craft, so you can customize it how you would like it. All right, so I am going to stick some of my stars. So today we are actually going to make two art and crafts. So this is the first one. And then we have another one that's coming up after. All right, so yeah, we are actually going to make two today instead of one art and craft. All right, so I am just going to stick my stars to represent the nighttime. Oh, I see Miss Sally is making her, her night and day. I see Eva is making, uh, Eva and Zara, good job. Who else am I seeing? Okay. Some of you guys are camera shy this evening. All right. So. I made my nighttime with my stars. So this represents nighttime. And now I'm going to stick my rays of sun, sunshine to represent the daytime. All right. So let me guys know when you all are almost finished with this art and craft. Oh, I love Miss Sally one. Right. 
So did you guys enjoy the story today? Does anybody remember what the story was about? What did Levi teach us today? What creation day are we learning? Did we learn about day four and five today? You guys did turn on your mic and tell me. Yeah? No? Oh, I see we have a helper from Miss Sally. Okay, I think it's stuck. Stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. I think it's stuck. Okay, we're back up. Oh, I see we have Miss Sally's pet helping her. <laughs> All right, so I'm almost finished with my first craft. Okay. So when you guys are done, it should look something like this. All right. So one side would represent daytime and the other side would represent the nighttime. All right. And who can remember what day God created they separated the day from the night. Can anybody tell me? Can anybody remember? Let me see. Could you guys remember Eva and Dara? You could turn on your mic and you could tell us. What about the turtle? Can he tell us? Day See, the turtle remembers. Yes. So God separated the light from the darkness on day four. All right? Okay. So if you guys are finished with the first craft, let's move on to the second one. And the second art and craft, it's actually two parts. All right? So we are going to take another circle, another Bristol board circle or plate, and you are going to cut it in, a, in halves, okay? So you'll have two pieces looking like this, all right? So one of this we are going to use to make a bird, and the other we are going to use to make a fish, all right? So I actually started on my fish, so I decided to color my fish blue. So could you guys see my, my fish body? Yeah. All right. So I decided to make my fish blue. And I started to put his little gills going up. All right. And my second craft, I left it white because I'm going to make a bird. So I think I would make a white dove with my art and craft. And for the feathers, we are going to use simple things that we can find around our household, all right? So I know things are still closed because of COVID. So we can use for the feathers of the bird, if you have colored kite paper or simply a piece of paper towel or a napkin, all right? And you break it up into little pieces. You tear them up into tiny little pieces, all right? And we are going to stick them for the feathers for our bird, all right? So let me start on my bird. 
Okay, so we're going to take some glue and we are going to stick some of the paper towel. It does not have to be perfect because it's feathers that we're making. So it could look a little ruffled and rumpled for feathers. If you have kite paper, even better. All right. So we are going to make our feathers for our bird. Okay, and feel free to stick them one on top of the other and layer them. All right. Because that's how birds fall on top of the other and they're layered. All right. So is everybody following along? And if you finish, there are also two coloring pages that were sent for you guys. So feel free to color. One represents the four and one represents the five. All right. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody following along? Any questions, feel free to stop me. If I'm going too fast, feel free to slow me down if you don't understand anything. So I see Miss Sally is gluing and sticking. And she's makish. Um, I think that's a tail. So if you're finished with your day four craft, you can move on to your day five craft to start making your fish and your birds. So actually, we are actually making three different things today because we're making a bird and a fish and we are making the sun and the moon. So that's actually three stuff, three craft items that we are making today, all right? And when you're finished, we will have all of the days that Jesus took to create the world. So do you guys remember what was, what were the days that were taught last week for Sunday school? Was it day one, day two, day three? Can anybody tell me? I'm seeing, oh, okay. I guess everyone is shy this evening. All right, so I'm almost finished with my bird feathers. We have some more bird feathers. Oh, wow. I love Miss Sally's fish. Miss Sally, is that a red fish? It's a snapper. <laughs> okay, so Miss Sally so made a Caribbean fish. It's orange, so it's a salmon. Oh, it's okay. Salmon. From here, it looks red. <laughs> so Miss Sally made a salmon. Okay. So I um almost finished with my dove, and Miss Sally is almost finished with her fish. So Miss Sally could um. Is anybody else doing their craft? All 
mean? So I'm almost making sticking so you guys don't have to in use you can simply read and find creative ways to make your art and craft and inexpensive ways to make your art and craft keep it as simple as possible there are many different household items that you could use to make beautiful arts and crafts okay all right so oh, let me put my beak for my food okay so i'm using a I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'm using an orange beak for my bird. So you can either stick the beak like this, or you can stick it behind, whatever you guys prefer. So remember, this is your bird. You can make him or her how colorful you want. All right, so be creative. Whatever colors you want to put, whatever type paper, if you want to color your feathers, you can. If you want to stick anything to make it look like possible, all right? Okay, so I'm almost finished building my, my bed. Mm -hmm. Are you all finished building your bed? Oh, wow. So, a red bird as well. You all could make a feather. Is any can anybody hear us? Yes, you all can make a feather like Miss. Oh wow, I love that. So if you guys are this, I am not so artistic but like Miss Sally, so I am sticking my feathers. So if you guys are artistic, even better. All right. So I'm just going to use my black marker and put a little dot for the eye. And there you have it. Right, and there you have it. So I made my dove with my recycled All right. Paper towel and napkin pieces for eyes. Yes. All right, and Miss Sally can show us her fish. That she, her, her snapper fish that she made. Lovely. So did you guys make your fish and your bird as yet? I'm not hearing anybody. I'm not seeing anybody. All right. And then we have again our night, our day, and our night. All right. So this is, oh, wow. Oh, look at your bluebird. I love that. Oh, that is so lovely. Can I see your other hat and brush? Oh, wow. Look at you. Look how colorful. Are you going to catch him or are you going to put him in your aquarium? I think you have to unmute your mic.
Are you going to put him in your aquarium? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, what are you going to name him? Are you going to give him a name? Fishy. Fishy. Okay, Fishy. All right, I love that name. <laughs> All right. And what about you? The four crab. Did you do it? What? Huh? Your night and your day craft, your day four craft. Yeah. Yeah? So are you going to hang this up in your room? Or but, you we're still, but we're still working on it. Oh, okay. No problem. That's fine. That's quite okay. okay. And then you'll add fish to your bird collection, right? Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. So I see that some of you all are working on your craft. All right. So I will hand you back over now to Miss Sally and her puppets. I think they have something to say. I'm seeing them on screen. Hi, guys. Welcome. Well, back. We wanna, I just want to thank Miss Kadeen for pulling through and doing the craft with us. We really do appreciate it. I know a lot of kids probably couldn't log on because there's no um, electricity in Barapur. But thank you, Miss Kadeen, for being here and sticking it through. <laughs> we appreciate it and we really do like your craft. Um, Keelan, I like your ca your calf. I like your fish and your bird. And yes, you could finish your sun and moon later. And then stick it up in your room or on your fridge. So Larry is the only person that's here because Peppy is afraid of the thunder and we have a lot of thunder in the background. So I would just like to end today's Sunday school session because you could continue your craft at home and you could do your coloring pages as well just to remind you of what God created on the fourth and fifth day. And as we continue on on the seven days of creation, we will learn all the different things that we see around us that God has created because he created everything that we could see. Remember the song that I played? I just want to play that song again for you all, just so that you remember what God created. Because all things bright and beautiful, all creatures, great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. So let me just play that song one more time for you all before we end in our prayer. Okay? So let me just, just play that song one more time. And it would be nice if you all would learn this song. Because right now, we are learning about creation and the creation story. And if you have your uh, Bible books at home, you could ask your mommy and daddy to read the story to you. So you remember what we learned in Sunday school. So let me just share this song one more time. And... We, if you want to sing, feel free to sing along as All things bright and beautiful All creatures great and small All things wise and wonderful The Lord God made them all Each little
good. So I hope you all remember what God has created because God has created everything that you see around you, including yourselves. But we will learn about that in the days to come next week, Sunday, and then the Sunday after that, we we'll learn about all that God has created. So as we end today, let's just close our eyes and bow our heads as we thank God for a successful session this today. But Father God, I thank you for a successful Sunday school session to this evening, despite the inclement weather, despite electricity going, despite all the technical issues that we had, we thank you that these kids got to learn about your fourth and fifth day of creation, that you, God, has created everything that is around us, Lord. Father God, I pray that you protect these children during this coming week. I pr pray that you protect their parents and all their siblings and their family, Lord, that they would come back next week, that they would learn more about your creation as they learn on about the sixth and seventh day of your creation, Lord, and as they come each week after that to learn about you. Father God, keep them well and keep their parents and their, fam their family well as well. Father God, I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, bye kids. Thank you all for coming out. Bye everybody. I'll see you all next week. Bye. Hope to see you guys next week. Don't forget to put your fish in your aquarium. Bye. Yes, Keelan, don't forget to put the fish in the aquarium. Bye. <laughs> Very nice. Bye. Good job.